Good morning, Los Angeles. Just as a glamorous athlete is leaving LA, another not so glamorous coach is coming to LA. But you know what? I really like that not so glamorous coach. Hi, I'm Bill Plasky, Sports Columnist, Los Angeles Times, and this is your wake up call. And of course, I'm speaking about Clay Helton, the former interim coach at USC, was named the head football coach permanently on a permanent basis, a five year contract. He was named that on Monday morning, less than 24 hours after Kobe Bryant announced that this is going to be his last year. So Kobe's on his way out, Helton's on his way in. I like the Helton hire. I know it's not Chip Kelly. I know it's not John Harbaugh. I know it's not some flashy big name, former NFL, current NFL coach, or some college coach with a bunch of of wins on his resume. I know it's not any of that, but this guy is perfect for the Trojans. As an interim coach, he's gone six and two during three different stints. He's won a bowl game. He's beaten UCLA. He hasn't lost a home game. And his only two losses have been this year to the two teams who probably the two best teams in the country who aren't gonna make the playoffs, Notre Dame and Oregon. While not the glamorous hire, is the gritty hire. He's a grinder. He cares about the kids. He's brought back the running game. He's brought back the emphasis on no turnovers. He's cut down on all the flashiness and all again, all the glitz and glamour of the program that led to its downfall. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of the early days of John Robinson, of John McKay, two other former assistant coaches who got the head coaching job at USC and did great things with it. Clay Helton is going to be a great USC coach. Pat Hayden made the right choice on this. USC fans, I think, are coming around to understanding all this. It's going to work out for them. And we're going to see beginning Saturday, Stanford, Pac-12 championship game up in the Bay Area. USC will be an underdog. I bet they compete. These guys love Clay Helton. I bet they celebrate his anointment by coming in there and playing hard. That's all you need to see from them. USC wasn't a huge search. Didn't talk about a lot of big names, but they got the right guy. You can read us at LATimes.com. Follow me on Twitter at Bill Plasky. Have a great day.